today I was going to show you how I create game graphics using data sources. So there are some really great videos on YouTube. I did want to show you how I'm using data sources to make my life easier when it comes to streaming sports. Uh, so I do basketball, football, baseball, volleyball, rather than have to set up each vmix to a specific game i can actually create one setup and based on data sources i can quickly trigger in a new team so that's done with a combination of setting up your title along with a data source so i use a data source uh, for um, Google Sheets. You can do a data source from Excel. You can do some other um, imports of data sources. Uh, but what I've found is Google Sheet is real handy in that I have access to it online. I can hand this data sheet off to someone else. So maybe at a scoring table. Uh, I've used it for commentators where they have a tab that they can use to pull up player stats and by them pulling up those player stats it actually feeds my graphic for player stats depending on who they selected so Google Sheets has been really helpful to drive all of these changes what are we really talking about here you can currently see I have two graphics on the screen overlaid over top of my Google Sheet example and you can see currently uh, Louisiana College is selected as a visitor team. And based on that selection, uh, the score bug has a background graphic. Uh, there is actually also a touchdown graphic. So you'll see the touchdown is orange to represent that school. You'll notice the LOU abbreviation. You'll notice the mascot logo there. Uh, you'll also notice that I have a halftime stats graphic also overlaid on there. You'll notice the helmet. So the idea is rather than have to go into all these different graphic elements and change these based on the game I'm in, I can simply go to my pre-game setup tab on my Google Sheet and by simply selecting a different school, so in this case Arizona Christian College, You'll notice on the spreadsheet, the uh, ACU changed, the mascot changed. Uh, within a few seconds, all of the graphics in vMix also changed. So you notice the helmet changed, the score bug color changed, even the touchdown color is now red. So all of those are different graphic elements that can be changed on the fly. Just to give you another example, let me change it to Wayland Baptist. And within a few seconds, the Wayland Baptist graphics all changed. Uh, you can imagine in basketball, you've got several games a week. Having this set up ahead of time, having the graphics set up becomes real handy in that you can just with one click, I can pick a school and all of the graphics will update. All right, so what's really happening here? So the first thing we're going to do, we're gonna talk about this halftime graphic. I'm gonna just use that as my example. The halftime graphic was created with GT Designer, uh, Title Designer. When we're talking about Title Designer, the first thing you're going to need to do is actually create, for instance, in this case, I had to create football helmets. So in Photoshop, I created all the team helmets that I would need for the season. The key to creating these helmets is make sure that the element is the same size. So I basically use a Photoshop template. Um, I save them out as a PNG don't change any of the sizes that way all the helmets the image sizes are the same I also do this with players so when we're talking about starting lineups that kind of thing as long as the images are the same size uh, when it comes time to have the data source pull it in 
they will all lay out correctly. Uh, the other key is you just want to make sure that everything uh, listed over here on the right hand side, all my home elements have HM, all my visitor elements have VS. Another trick I like to do is for elements that are never going to change, so for instance right down the center I've got total yards, passing yards, rushing yards, etc. Those will never change. So um, under the data tab on this screen you'll notice um, I have hidden uh, selected for certain things. When you get into vMix you're going to have a long list of elements um, and so the ones that you're not actually going to be editing just go ahead and hide them that way uh, the list is shorter. So now that we have the title set up the next thing we need to do is we need to come over and set up our data source. So in this case we are going to be using a Google Sheet. The keys to this are the first tab I have what I call a pregame tab. That's the tab I'm going to use to actually set up the game uh, ahead of time. Uh, so if this was basketball, um, for instance, there's a, a men's and a women's uh, team. So I would select um, whether it's men's or women's. Um, and then, of course, select the schools that are playing, the home team and the visitor team. And based on those selections, a lot of things are happening uh, throughout this spreadsheet. The other tab that's important is what we call a validation tab. So on this validation tab, this is just a one-time kind of setup. I do this every season. Um, so I will add, for instance, in the F column here, I'll add all the schools. Uh, the reason that this is important is because I have formulas. Uh, throughout the spreadsheet that are looking for exact text. So I know that all of the formulas are going to work because the selected text is all the same. Um, but you can also see uh, next to the team name I've got a column for mascots. I have that abbreviations uh, that's used in the score bugs etc. Um, I really just want to show you the validation tab uh, so you know where um, the drop down is pulling things from. So for example, if I come back to the pregame tab, you'll notice I have a drop down here and then based on what I select, we'll change the three letter abbreviation, which is then pulled into the score bug as an example. You'll also notice down here I have home helmets, visitor helmets, home TD color so that's that background that is behind uh, the touchdown graphic and the background for the score bugs so you'll notice here uh, these are all currently set to Wayland Baptist University and then by simply just clicking on a different team all of those changed so what's happening here um, I basically have a formula that is pulling in cell C9 and then I'm adding some text to it so you'll see here there's a um, I'm sorry uh, for visitors it's pulling in C9 and then I have some uh, helper text that I am adding to it so this is actually a cell with some formula in it that is creating this helper text so what are we using the helper text for well that is referencing a VLOOKUP that is pulling in these graphics. So these uh, right here in column H, these are the graphic references that are um, needed for the helmets, for the background colors, etc. So where is that happening? So basically I'll come over here to, um, I have a tab called Picks. The reason it's called Picks is simply because this is where all the headshots were for all of the players. But um, basically every graphic reference is here. So you'll notice there's a column here for the school. 
there is um, this image is basically what kind of image is it is it a player pick um, is it a helmet is it the touchdown color etc this jersey column would have the jersey numbers for the players um, but also I use it for instance the helmets have a right version and a left version depending on the, the which way they're facing now here's where that helper text comes in uh, for my formulas um, it's basically uh, taking A, B, and C and combining it into a text. And then based on that pregame cell that I showed you, uh, this is the V lookup. So it's going to look up um, in column D and it's going to return column E. So let me go back to that formula so you can see it. And so there you go right here. Uh, you've got a V lookup. It's going to look up column G uh, 26. So we're talking about the home helmet here. Then it's going to go to the picks tab and it's going to reference that column D and return column E. So that's where the magic of that helper text works and knows how to pull in what it's going to pull in. So that's how you set up um, your pregame tab. Now I also have a halftime stats tab. Um, so I have a stats entry tab. So from here, um, this is actually where on the fly, all of this is feeding a tab called halftime stats. So when you're dealing with data sources in vMix, Basically, the spreadsheet is two rows. The first row is your title, and then the second row is actually the, the element that is going to be pulled in. So basically, on this sheet, I've basically, as you can see, um, for instance, uh, the, the Rams here is being pulled from the stat entry sheet, A2, A3, a five six seven eight etc uh, you'll notice here for instance this is the home helmet and the visitor helmet those are actually pulling from the pregame tab uh, where I showed you the helmet image is being pulled in so h26 is the home helmet h27 is the visitor helmet so this tab here this half stats tab once you have it set up, you're never going to touch this again. And if you have multiple people referencing this spreadsheet, you might want to hide it so they don't inadvertently um, write over one of these formulas. So once this is set up, you can simply just hide it. Okay, so now that we have the graphics set up in the title, now that we have our data source all set up, uh, now how do we feed those data sources to make the graphics change? So with that, you're actually going to use the title editor. The title editor is accessed within vMix. Uh, you would actually right click on the element and then click on title editor. So what does editor look like? So this little box right here pops up. Uh, this is your title editor. So this is where you're actually going to assign the data sources. So to give you an example, I clicked on the right click for my uh, stat halftime stats. And here is all those elements. So you'll notice on the title editor here, I have a visitor score uh, one. You'll notice on the right hand side there of the GT designer, there is a visitor score one. There's a home score one. There is a home total yards, visitor total yards. So you'll see how the list in the title editor matches the uh, list of elements in the designer. So you really want to make sure that you name these so you can quickly see the difference between home and visitors, etc. Uh, this list can get rather long. Um, in this case, I didn't hide anything. Um, but if I was never going to change, for instance, this title 
uh, time of possession. Um, I could always hide it in, uh, set it as a hidden element in the designer and it wouldn't show up in this list. It would still show in the graphic, it just wouldn't be in this list. All right, so let's actually feed the data. So how do you do that? Um, well, one, you have to have your Google Sheet set up as a data source. There is a video on how to do that. Um, so I'm not gonna go through how to do that. Um, but once you select an element in your title editor, you're gonna click on data source. This data source tab here will typically start with none. Uh, you'll select your Google Sheet then the table that you want to pull it from, that's actually the tab that's in that spreadsheet. So remember I have a pregame tab, I have a stat entry. Um, in this case, I have a tab specifically called half stats. That's that tab I referenced that said you can hide it once you have it set up. So I tend to try to create a tab per graphic that way it's easier for me to identify when I get to this point. So the table is the tab in the Google Sheet. And then the column is the first row. So you remember that first row where I had um, the titles. So for instance, passing yards. Um, I have a uh, column for the helmet, for example. So you want to basically match up um, those titles. So I did title them to represent similar to what the designer uh, title was set up as. So in this case, we're looking for visitor score. So I have visitor points uh, and you see how it pulled in the three for that. Um, home score, same deal. Uh, the halftime stats sheet, there is a row header called home points. Um, and as far as row and format, you can pretty much leave those alone. Um, so that just gives you an idea of how you pull in the data source. Let's look at the helmets real quick, uh, just to give you an example of what the helmet looks like. Um, but how do we get this helmet in here? Simply click on data source. Uh, I have my halftime sheet. I have the uh, visitor helmet. If I was to change that to home helmet, you'll notice it's changed here and I just changed it to the home helmet. Let's change that back to visitor helmet. And so it's basically pulling the reference from the Google Sheet to the file location on the computer and then pulling in that image as the image that's gonna be used for this graphic. So let me close that. Let's go back to our graphic. So as you can see right now, it's set up. For the Louisiana school. And if I go back to the pregame, what I do is to make things easier. Um, here is my vMix. Here is um, a second screen for vMix. And then over here, this is my Google Sheet. So that can be run from a tablet. I actually do have a tablet here that I can use. Um, I keep this um, on the Google Sheet so that I don't have to switch in this computer here back and forth um, to get to that Google Sheet. I just have an extra, it's on the web, so it's not actually an Excel sheet trying to tie into this computer. That's one of the great things about having a Google Sheet set up because it can be pulled from pretty much any device, your phone, a tablet, another computer. If it's on, um, you don't even have to be on the same network as vMix. Uh, somebody at a remote location can be running this. Um, but for this example, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and select a different school and just show you how by selecting the different school, the graphics changed. So just that quick, Arizona College came up. If I was to switch this to Wayland Baptist, you'll see how quickly Wayland Baptist came up. So hopefully that helps you with an idea of how you can use a data source to drive your graphics. It does take some time to set up ahead of time. Uh, so this wouldn't be something you're doing right before a game, but I like to do this before a season. So if you're doing basketball, I have a Google Sheet for basketball, I have a Google Sheet for football. I'll get all these set up ahead of time 
get all the graphics uh, set. So hopefully this helped you, give you an idea of how you can incorporate data sources with your graphics in vMix. So if you liked the video, hit that like button, let me know uh, that this was helpful.